on to topic number four of the day. Habib and Justin Gaethje has been announced for October 24th. It is at UFC 255. Dana White did not provide a location for this. You have to imagine it will be Fight Island unless things are opened back up by October 24th, and I just don't envision that happening. I don't think anywhere, uh, Michael said, as a Broncos fan, Mahomes retiring sounded so much better. Yeah, I can understand it. <laughs> like, you want him out of the division as quickly as possible. Um, so with Habib and Gaethje, there are a ton of questions around this. There's no location. you got to imagine Fight Island. I don't think anywhere is going to be open for you to be able to have fans by October 24th. So we'll see. Um, <laughs> ben, ben said, okay, Russia bot. Yeah, we, we might have some of those in, and that's all right. Um, of course, hey, if anybody wants to toss out an idea on here, we're game to listen. We are game to listen. Uh, so this UFC 255 deal. There's a ton of questions surrounding it. One, this is Habib's first fight back since his father passed away back at the beginning of July, right? That is a, a big thing. This fight was supposed to happen in initially July, and then Nurmagomedov's father passed away, or was, was sick, and then he passes away, and they couldn't do it in July, they couldn't do it in September, and now they've agreed to October. And I think October is a good time for it. I, I think, you know, we're going to be starved for a big-time UFC fight by then. I don't think uh, <laughs> my wife is in the chat. I see. Um, <laughs> I, uh, ben said, uh, or Michael said, Ben, how many runs you give me on the game tonight? Hey, you guys with your Rockies and, and A's mess. Good gracious. Let me talk about UFC for just a minute. I know a lot of y'all don't care. I care. I love this stuff. Here's my first question. Does Conor McGregor get the next guy? That's what I want to know. He's retired, or he says he is. If you give him a chance at the belt again, does he come back? I think that's the biggest fight you could possibly have. If you have Conor against Gaethje, I think that's a massive fight. If you have Conor against uh, McGregor, not Conor against McGregor, good great. Y'all are killing me here. Um, no ma'am jumps in said, NFL opt out of what? Uh, NFL players are opting out of the 2020 season. You can go back and listen to the podcast after this. Michael said, you are looking good, Gary. Yeah, my wife jumped in, said I'm looking fine. Appreciate that, of course. Of course. Conor McGregor, I think, should be the next fight for whoever wins this because it is a massive, massive money deal. That's what I think. Uh, Michael said, you're a nine. That A on your chest is holding you back. I think, I think the A adds to it. But either way. So, McGregor, I think, should be next for either one. I don't think Habib wants to fight McGregor again. Dana said in a recent interview that if, if Habib wants to fight GSP, and GSP is up for it, and that is his last fight, then he's up for it. He thinks that he will allow that to go down, and I think it would be massive, but it would not be anything near the Conor McGregor-Habib rematch. It wouldn't even be close. GSP has been out for so long, there is absolutely no way that it would, it would have any kind of hype compared to a Conor McGregor and Habib matchup. Just wouldn't make sense. I actually think McGregor and Justin Gaethje would be bigger than that fight. Now, as far as legendary for the old school fans, absolutely they want to see Habib against GSP. But at this point in the game, it's not really a fair fight. GSP has been retired for a long, long time. It, he came back for one fight, he won a belt, and then he gave the belt back up. I, I just, I don't see it's, it's kind of ridiculous. It's just kind of ridiculous. So, um, let's jump back into the chat here. Let's see, I have the three-year PFPA averages for every game and week of NFL preseason, crash and burn. It'd be nice to get the games they're actually playing to work up to my plays. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, no ma'am said, oh yeah, I heard the Patriots linebacker is one of those who opted out. Yeah, that'd be Dante Hightower. Um, there you go. But, yeah, that, more, more than that. They, there's six of them. Patrick Chung, Dante Hightower, et cetera, et cetera. So, massive ordeal with that. Let's jump off of UFC because the chat is going bananas today. 